Okay, here's problem seven. Uh, at time equals to zero, all these capacitors, so the 15, the 20, and the 10 are discharged. So there's no voltage across them and the switch is moved from open to close. I want to know what's the current down here in the ammeter just after uh, t equals to zero. So that's an important statement, right? Just after. If they're asking for uh, the current just after t equals to zero, you know, you got to consider all of these branches with these capacitors, okay? And the way you solve the problems now is you consider the capacitors to be shorted. Now that means there's no resistance, right? Current can flow very easily in those sections. Okay. The other thing it means is that you don't have to worry about any of these resistors so forget about any resistor uh, that's in parallel with a capacitor. With capacitor. And the reason, imagine if your current kind of flowing in here to this junction over here. And you have a path up at the top that has resistance and here I just said you've shorted it. Shorted it means you've basically just got a wire over here. Forget about the capacitor, you just have a wire over here. Um, that basically means that if the current is given a choice to go through the path of more resistance or least resistance, it's gonna choose the one with least resistance. So for all these guys, you simply neglect any resistor. This is only for short time, keep that in mind. So also over here, look, if, imagine there's current flowing into this junction over here. Forget about it. This is in parallel with this capacitor. And again, you assume that this one here is shorted. Now, how about this one? Uh, this one also, you just consider it shorted. Okay? So, now this becomes very, very easy. Right? Because if I consider this path now, so I consider the shorted path through the 75 ohm resistor, I'm now going to split up. I have some current that's going to go down over here. I also have some current that's going to flow down in this section. Um, it's going to go down this way. Current's going to combine and then eventually flow through this 15 ohm resistor. All right, so in order to simplify this, all you have to do now is you can use rules for resistors. All we have is a network of resistors. All right, so let's go back and clean this up a little bit. Okay, and now all we have to do is simplify our resistors. Okay, so the first resistor we can combine. Um, in this outer branch here, the only resistance is 25 ohms, this guy. This here is in parallel with a 50 ohm resistor. That means that everything here will act like an equivalent resistor, our equivalent, which is simply you can multiply them and divide it by the sum. Now punch that in the calculator. You get 16.6. Okay, so that's everything in this kind of uh, blue dashed area. The next thing you have is uh, we have a 75 ohm resistor that it's going to be in series with this equivalent resistor. And it's also going to be in series with this 15 ohm resistor. Okay, so the total equivalent resistance for this circuit, let's so write the total up here, is simply going to be 75 plus this first R equivalent that we just calculated, which is 16.6, .6 and plus 15. Okay, uh, that's it. That's what you get. So at the end of the day, this complete circuit uh, gets simplified into something that has a 100 volt battery and one equivalent R equivalent resistor uh, which is equal to the value I have up here. Okay, so the value of the current at the end of the day is simply going to be that voltage divided by the total equivalent resistance 75 plus 16.6 .6 plus 15 at the end, I get a current uh, equal to 0 
9.4 amperes. Okay, and there you go. Choice D is the correct answer. So this is kind of important, okay? So at T equals to zero, you basically just short all of the capacitors, which means just current is allowed to flow through there. I mean, in reality, there's no current that flows between the plates, but um, just to solve the problem, just assume that current can flow through there. And forget about any resistor that is in parallel with those capacitors because, again, it would choose the shorted path over more resistive path. Right, and then simply simplify your network using combinations of resistors.